Hello, IB Math Studies students. Today we are going to talk about uh, instantaneous rate of change. So to get started, what is an instantaneous rate of change? The instantaneous rate of change is the slope of a tangent line uh, to a point on a graph. So what does that mean? So to start off, let's do a warm up. What if I asked you to find the slope for a line um, FM? Oops, let's label this one F. Let's label this one M. Okay, how do we find the slope? Well, um, you learned in Algebra 1 that if I take the y values and subtract them from each other, I would get 6 minus 2, right? And then if I, in the denominator, if I take the x values, 8 minus 4, then that's my denominator. And so if I do 6 minus 2 divided by 8 minus 4, we end up with a slope of 4 over 4, which is a slope of 1. Okay, that's all fine. But, and that's really fine if you just want uh, the slope between two points. Um, but what if you want the slope at one point? Hmm, let's think about that for a second. So, this could be a problem if you think about it, because what if I drew, um, you know, so let's say I wanted to find the point at 1 comma 1 of the graph y equals x squared, okay? If I pick a point over here, my slope here is really shallow compared to if I pick a point way up here. The slope is much steeper, right? So how am I supposed to find an accurate slope at one point, at 1 comma 1? Well, there's an algebraic way to figure this out. So to find the slope at one point, you can estimate it using two points that are really, really, really close to each other. So let's see how this works. Okay, so uh, find the slope of the curve at y equals x squared at the point 1 comma 1. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Okay, so here's 1 comma 1 on the graph y equals x squared. Okay, now if I want to find, I'm going to randomly pick a point and it is, um, I'm going to call it h units to the, the right. And if it's h, h units to the right, then the x value is going to be 1 plus h. Okay, because I've moved over h to the, to the right. Now up, if I've moved over here to 1 plus h, and that's my new x value is 1, my new x value is 1 plus h, then my new y value is going to be 1 plus h squared. Okay. Hit pause if you need to think about that for a second. This is 1 plus h, this is 1 plus h squared. Hit pause if you think you need to think about it for a moment. Okay, now, Okay, how do we find out the slope? Okay, we know from our warm-up y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, right? Okay, so um, the y values are uh, 1 plus h squared, right? And 1, so I'm going to do 1 plus h squared minus 1 over whatever our x values h plus 1 plus h and 1, right? So my denominator is going to be 1 plus h minus 1. Okay. Now, in your Algebra 1 classes, you learned that 1 plus h, parentheses squared, is 1 plus h times 1 plus h. And if I FOIL that, I get 1 times 1, which is going to be 1, h times 1, which gives me h. Um, uh, 1 times h gives me h, and then h times h gives me h squared, and we end up with 
this here is 1 plus 2h plus h squared. Okay? So now that we've substituted 1 plus h parentheses squared with this, I can see, oh, look, this 1 cancels out with this 1, 1 minus 1, right? And same thing here, 1 minus 1, that's going to go away, right? So what am I left with? I'm left with 2h plus h squared over h. Okay, and in the numerator, both of these have h. So I'm going to factor out an h, and if I factor out an h, then I end up with h times 2 plus h over h. Oh, I've got h here and h here. Can't I cancel that out? And then I'm left with 2 plus h. Hmm. Okay, so if I'm looking at this graph and I want the slope right really, really close to this point, then I need h to be super, super, super small. So if I make h super, super, super small, let's just say it's really, really close to zero. Then what's my new slope? If h is super, super close to zero, then my slope is, dun, da, 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 it's going to be this number, two. So my slope to the tangent at one comma one for y equals x squared is 2. Okay. You might need to think about this some. You might need to rewatch this video to think about it. Let's look at another example. What if I want to find the slope of the tangent line of y equals x squared when x equals 2? Okay, well, um, Okay, so y equals x squared. So if I've gone over x, if x is 2, then y is going to be 2 squared, right? 2 squared is 4, so it would be 2 comma 4. If x is 2, then the y value would be 2 squared, which is 4, all right? So then if I've moved over h to the right from here to here, then the new x value is going to be 2 plus h, and the new y value is going to be that value squared. Okay, hit pause if you need to think about that for a second. Okay, so now um, let's remember that slope is uh, the y values minus each other divided by the x values minus each other. Right? Okay. And then in Algebra 1, you learned that 2 plus x times 2 plus x is 4 plus 4h plus h squared. So I'm going to replace the 2 plus h in parentheses squared with 4 plus 4h plus h squared. Okay. And then my denominator is 2 plus h minus 2. Okay, just like in the previous example, 4 minus 4. Bam, that goes away. 2 minus 2. Bam, that goes away. What are we left with? 4h plus h squared divided by h. All right? 4h plus h squared divided by h. Hmm, in the numerator I could factor out an h, can't I? So if I factor out an h, then I get this, and hmm, h can cancel out on the top and bottom, and then I end up with um, m equals 4 minus h. And if h is super, super small, if h is very, very small, let's just say h is 0, then what's my slope? my slope is going to be 4. Okay? So, therefore, the slope of the tangent at y equals x squared at x equals 2, when h approaches 0, the slope is going to be 4. So, the tangent line at 
two, the point two comma four has a gradient of four. So your homework for tonight or today is to do uh, um, twenty b point two numbers one and two, and that is your homework for tonight. Thank you very much.